in this video still topic 6 6.3 partial fraction 6.3 partial fraction where we focus on determine the partial fraction example 7 express this fraction into partial fraction so this question we have proper fraction so we proceed to decompose the fraction since we have two linear factor so we have two fraction over x plus 1 and over x plus 2 the numerator is constant so here is a and then we put b here this is where we call decompose and then we equalize the denominator for the first fraction we see the denominator is x plus 1 so to equalize with the fraction on the left so it has to multiply with x plus 2 so the first fraction is times x plus 2 over x plus 2 second fraction it has to multiply with x plus 1 the denominator all are equalized then we eliminate the denominator so it become like this and then we will find the value of a and b from this equation so for the first term here a times x plus 2 we can use x equal to negative 2 we substitute into the equation left and right so on left 5 times negative x here plus 7 plus 7 equal to 0 if we substitute negative 2 here we get 0 so this term we will get 0 and then for the b times negative 2 plus 1 so this equation we can get the value of b to get the value of a we use another x from this factor x plus 1 so x equal to negative 1 substitute at both sides so we get left like this and right a times negative 1 plus 2 then we get the value of a so a is 2 b is 3 for the final answer we substitute the value a and b into partial fraction make sure substitute in the correct fraction so the answer is 2 over x plus 1 plus 3 over x plus 2 the question use the word express so we have to write the question at the left and the answer the partial fraction at on the right example 8 express 3 over x square times x minus 1 into partial fraction okay. we decompose into 3 fraction first one is over x square then over x and then over x minus 1 the numerator is constant make sure that each fraction the denominator is the same as the fraction on the left so the first fraction it has to multiply with x minus 1 since it already have x square the second fraction the denominator is x so it missing another x and the x minus 1 so it has to multiply with x and x minus 1 and the third fraction it already have 
x minus 1. So it need to multiply with x square. And then this is equalize the denominator step. Since we have all the denominators is equal, then we can eliminate all of them. So the next step is eliminate the denominator. So we get like this. So since we have three unknown constant, so we will use three value of x. So the first value of x is from the first term, there is x minus 1. So we get x equal to 1. So we substitute left and right. So we directly get c equal to 3. For the second value, we can use from this factor, we have x and x minus 1, meaning we have x equal to 0 from x and x equal to 1 from x minus 1. Since we already use x equal to 1, so we use x equal to 0. Substitute the value of x0 into the equation. So we get the value of a. And then the last value of x is from x square, but from the x square we only can get x equal to 0. But we already used x equal to 0 before, so it cannot be used anymore. So we use any value of x and we substitute the value of a and c that we already found. So we substitute at both sides the value of x and the value of a and c. So we will find the value of b here. Okay, we calculate and simplify. The value of b is negative 3. So we have c3, a negative 3, b negative 3. Substitute into this partial fraction. So a is negative 3, b negative 3, and c is 3. Okay, another example, we look where we have a where we have a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. So the first step is decompose. Since we have uh, two factor, it's not repeated. So we have two fraction. The first fraction is denominator linear. So numerator is constant. But the second fraction is quadratic. So the numerator is linear. So the form is bx plus c. Then we equalize the denominator. This fraction will times with x square plus 3. And the second fraction will multiply with x plus 1. Make sure bx plus c put in the bracket. And then we eliminate denominator. So we get for x equal to like this. Okay then we find the value of a, b and c. So from the factor here we can choose any value from this factor because it's cannot factorize and from this Term, we can use s equal to 0 for this one and x equal to negative 1 from s plus 1. So we can use x negative 1, x 0 and another x is any value. Substitute x negative 1 into equation. Then we get the value of a. Second value is S0. So 
So at left, 0. At the right, is negative 1 from the value of A. Then 3 is from 0 plus 3. Then C, because B times 0 plus C. And then 0 plus 1, we get 1. So the value of C is 3. And we use another value x. Choose any value. Here I choose x equal to 1. Then substitute into this equation. And substitute value of a and c. So here we get 4 equal to negative 4 plus b plus c times 2. So 2 here is from x plus 1, so 1 plus 1. Then simplify to get the value of b. So b equal to 1. And then all these three values, we substitute into partial fraction. So the value of a is negative 1, so negative 1. And then b is 1 and c is 3.